So it's time for me to tell a story. Anyone who has children will probably appreciate the story because I'm going to assume it's somewhat similar for everybody. August 2012 was scheduled for C-section for the birth of my son. I'm all psyched up, ready to go, not nervous, anything like that. We go in, they start prepping my wife, and they give me this Oompa Loompa suit. I'm talking about the one from the old Willy Wonka when they do the x-ray machine. All white gob, full white suit, doesn't fit me, it's way too small. Put that on, and now I'm treated like I don't exist anymore, which is fine because it's hilarious the fact that like I'm there and it's I'm awkward and I'm in the way basically. So they prep my wife, roll her down, big set of double doors, and they basically point me into a room and say, "Okay, sir, go in there and wait. We'll come and get you." I'm telling you right now, it felt like three hours went by. I was pacing back and forth. I started sweating. Um, no one would, I swear no one would talk to me. Um, I felt like I was in there by myself. Finally, a nurse comes out, grabs me and says, okay, let's go. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. They're waiting for you. I was like, okay, where's everybody been for the past half hour? Anyways, go through the double door. We walk into the operating room. Everyone is staring at me. Surgeon, anesthesiologist, my wife. The nurses, everybody, and literally they were literally waiting on me. <laughs> the surgeon was sitting there with the scalpel ready to go, like, come on, sit down. Anyways, go sit down, sit, a lot of crazy stuff's going on that I won't get into, um, talking to my wife, but I know what's going on on the other side of that blue top. She's like, oh, what's going on? It's the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced in my entire life but anyways a lot of stuff goes on and okay here he comes and they pick him up prop him up over the top of the top there's my son they take him away now it's a big long room and you know we're on this end they take him to the other end of the room so now I'm still talking to my wife you know the tops in front of me can't see anything still and they start calling me over Come on, come here, come here, hurry up, hurry up, look, 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 look. So now I go around the tarp, go to the end of the room, and my son's laying on the scale, kind of just lounging like this with his hands behind his, back, his head, laying down, laughing. I take some pictures. So now I have to come back towards where my seat was, back the other way. Now, mind you, I'm now on the active side of this blue tarp. So I'm walking, and I'm like, oh, do I want to look, do I want to look, do I want to look? kind of glance over and it was awful blood everywhere I couldn't believe it and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god don't look don't look don't look don't look so I come back around I must <laughs> I must have been white as a ghost sweating I sat back down my eyes must have been about this big I sit back down and I'm talking to my wife and all of a sudden the anesthesiologist starts petting my back he goes it's okay you know take a couple of deep breaths and I'm like, please don't pass out, please don't pass out, please don't pass out. Anyways, I didn't pass out. Um, thank God for the anesthesiologist. And I got a beautiful son. I know it's an odd story, but it was the proudest moment, my happiest moment in my life, and the most terrifying moment in my life. Um, thank you for letting me share my story.